doing a mouse repair video now. Let's do this. Um, let us do this. I tried to fix the mouse before, but my last fix apparently failed because I did not... I was just removing dust. Turns out it's the tension spring in the mouse clicking button. The left click button has a little tiny copper spring inside of it. And if that spring has no tension, it will just randomly think you're clicking because the button will be depressed all the time. It won't ever come back up. Or if you click it down, it might think it came back up or think it's clicking down again and again. It needs to be all the way up or all the way down, so the spring determines that. That was my problem. My spring got flattened out. And you can reset the tension of the spring just by bending it. It's just a leaf spring, it's not like a coil spring. So you can just bend it. Um, so I wonder if I could remove this whole board. I don't know. Because this one pops out. Can this one come out? No, it seems to be somehow. Oh, there's little clips on it. You can detach it. Um, let's see. Gotta be so delicate. Um, well. Looks like it is attached by some kind of like arm coming off the scroll wheel, so I'm gonna snap it back in. I don't wanna mess anything up. Hmm. Although I might have to remove it. Might actually have to remove it. What's up, Queen?
So it's... What we're looking at right now... Is this button right here. This white button. Needs to have its spring retentioned. It's even sitting deeper in here than this one is. So that's another red flag. It's amazing how much hair gets inside this stuff. Um. Okay, so you've got a pry... Switch in which... Need a flathead. We gotta try to pry... The bottom of this thing out. Let me try using my exacto knife. This is some tiny stuff, man. Guys, I didn't even go offline. You should have told me I was offline. I've been talking this whole time to you. Only to find out you guys were not even able to see me the whole time. Ha! Got it. All I did was just went right underneath here. Let me show you. What is going on? Give me light. Give me light. See that? We popped out right there. You can see it. We got the knife right underneath there. And now the cover's ajar. I'll show you. It's coming up. We gotta pop the other side though of this box. Watch this. Pull it out. Insert it. Boom. Twist and it you you get it loose. So that that's almost about to pop out. You can see it's like crooked now. So now we're gonna come in this side. The cover went flying. It's the last thing I wanted. Oh, great. I just broke rule number one. Work in a clean environment where if parts go flying, it will be easy to find them. I mean, my room's clean-ish, but... This might be a challenge to find this thing that just flew. Who knows where? Could be on me. No, it's probably on the floor. It's probably somewhere on the floor. Oi! This mouse is a collector's edition. It was made by the a small company 
that you may have heard of. It's now called Laser. Or Razor. Um. So we have to make another repair, by the way. Since this repair... broke our scroll wheel I'm so bent out of shape at this point. It's unfortunate. The reason for the repair attempt is my mouse, when I press left click, um, sometimes it wouldn't even record that or it recorded as a double click. If I try to left click and hold, it recorded as a left click and release or as a double click but never a left click and hold and all those symptoms point to um, a loose tensioner string in your left click mouse button the spring is not tensioned properly so I just opened up the button assembly and attempted to retension the leaf spring make it more tense. Unfortunately I bent the spring out of shape pretty badly and I don't really understand how to reassemble so just from looking at it so I opened up a good setup to compare what I'm doing um, on the right mouse button Let's see here. Alright. They told me to take the curve out of the spring, but that's uh not working out for me, so I'm gonna try to put it back in. Okay, so there's a big arm in the rear. The hole goes away from that arm.
managed to install the bad spring on the right mouse. What's up, Elio? I'm going to install the good spring on the left mouse. Just to get us started. Then we'll run some tests. Okay, so the hole goes toward the front, which is defined as the part away from the large overhang. Gotcha. Okay, you want to assemble the front first. Okay, I got it back in. Um, so they said to do this. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 